Mm. What you making? Some sourdough. Another. Yeah, sourdough's the best. Yeah, but what if you added... Way! Yeah, that. Was Good sourdough? sourdough? Hey, let's talk whey. Whey! So you know Little Miss Muffet and her curds and whey? Well, curds and whey are two elements that make up milk. Curds turn into cheese, and whey is usually just the byproduct. But it's liquid gold. I mean, it's delicious. Whenever I make homemade yogurt, and I'll include the recipe to that video in the description box below, or I make homemade paneer and ricotta, I usually get a lot of whey left over. And I refuse to put it down the drain because this stuff is delicious and it's full of nutrients. I mean, really chock full of protein, the good protein, and not just like that powder stuff that you find at like the big muscle guy store. So I always use it. I throw it in random things. I put it in soups and stews. I soak beans in it. I make my morning porridge with it. I put it in smoothies and I'm gonna try putting it in a loaf of sourdough bread. Now, to be fair, I have done a version of this before. I put some whey um, as a portion of the water liquid that I add to the dough mix, but I have not done 100% whey. And that's what I'm going to attempt doing. And that includes using whey instead of water in the starter mix. So everything about the liquid in this loaf is going to be whey. No way, yes way. Oh, one other thing I wanna remind you of to sign up for my newsletter if you haven't yet. So I'm adding a link in the description box below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Click it, it's that easy. It'll be real fun, we'll hang out. So the question, will it sourdough? Let's find out. So where do you get whey is probably the first question you're wondering. And I get whey by making my own either paneer or ricotta cheese. And that's super easy to do. All you have to do is warm up some whole milk. So you will need a thermometer to do this. You warm it up to 200 degrees Fahrenheit or about 93 degrees Celsius. Then you turn off the heat, you add some lemon juice, stir it, let it sit for 10 minutes. The whey and the curds will separate. And then you just pour it out. You catch it with a cheesecloth in a strainer. And this is it, you guys, it's that easy. While I'm pressing the rest of the whey out to make this paneer, I'm going to begin my loaf. So here I'm measuring 450 grams of strong white bread flour and 50 grams whole wheat flour. Now here we go. Let's add in the let's add in the whey. <laughs> so that's going to be 450 grams of whey. This is a pretty hydrated loaf. Put that to the side. It's going to sit for three hours. And after like 15 to 30 minutes, your paneer is done, right? So unwrap that bada bing bada boom. That's done when it's time to come back to the dough that you started. And so at this point, it's just an auto lease, right? It's just the whey and flour. You're going to add in 10 grams of salt and 75 grams of your starter. This is our whey starter, remember? Mix that into the dough you have already started, mix it up really well, and then cover it and let it sit for 30 minutes. And then this is where we start our stretch and folds. And if you all have seen my other how to make sourdough videos, um, then you will know this. So I'll just really quickly go over it here. Three times every 30 minutes, you stretch and fold. It literally is what it sounds like, uh, the dough. And if you want to see more on that, I go into it in a lot of detail in video that I will link to here and in the description box below. All right, so put that dough to the side. Three hours later, flour your work surface and it's time to shape the dough. So at this point, I'm feeling pretty good because this dough is acting, it's acting good, right? And so the whey has not killed the fermentation of anything. It's really helped. It seems to be um, filling nicely with air and that's what we want. And when you shape a boule, you know, I feel like this is something a lot of people are intimidated by and it's really not intimidating. So let me show you how I do it here. Just it's important to keep your hands floured 
and know how to touch the dough so that your hands don't just constantly stick to it. This gets better with practice, trust me. All right, so now our dough is going in the refrigerator overnight. And the next morning we take it out and it's gonna, it's gonna be ready to bake. So uh, let's score this bad boy and see what happens. It's going into a preheated oven. I do this as hot as my oven goes, which is 250 degrees Celsius. Um, that's about 485 degrees Fahrenheit. And I preheat my squat Dutch oven in it. Add the dough to the Dutch oven on its parchment paper. 30 minutes later, take off the cover and back in for 15 minutes. All right, let's see. And then I'm going to let it cool for a couple hours before I cut into it. This is going to be the deciding moment. Can I get a drum roll, please? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I think it's a success. It's risen well, it's proved nicely, and those are the biggest concerns when it comes to adding something new or unusual to your sourdough loaf. I mean, look at that. It cooked beautifully. It has such a wonderful crumb and a nice hard crust for this country loaf style we're going for. This is really good. Honestly, you, I can't even really taste that whey is in it. You know, it doesn't have that kind of sweetness that the way I used had. It's really good though. You know, I'm not a scientist, but whey is a protein, right? It's the serum protein. I wonder if that, if like the gliadin and glutenine in the wheat, those protein molecules in the wheat kind of like light. This rose really well. I think it's beautiful. It's got those luscious holes that I love so much. And it tastes fantastic. So it certainly didn't hurt to add whey to this sourdough. And I'm gonna go ahead and say, yeah, whey, it gets sourdough. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet, so you get an alert every time a new video comes out. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you have any suggestions of what I should try to sourdough next, leave a comment below. Keep it quirky. Peace. Sourdough is the best. Yeah, sourdough's the best. Some sourdough. And if you're still watching at this point, I really want you to subscribe to my channel. Thanks.